Okay, token and control X. And I don't have a saddle on him, so we don't have to worry about that. So we just go like this. Oh man, awesome. I do like the effect, the little sheen effect. Each one of these mods has like their own effect for how the Evos work. Oh, he looks amazing. Look at that. The white, the white on black looks really, really clean. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Crystal Isles Parados Pugnacia playthrough. TBF Gaming here. Really excited to get going today. We're doing a couple things. We're working on our Pugnacia mech. It's silly expensive. It's super, super expensive. I've got to make ridiculous amounts of these shards. I can make quite a bit of it. I have tons and tons of element from all the boss fights, but it's going to take a long time to get enough. I think we need, like, I don't even know, 100,000? Let's check before I'm lying to you. But yeah, we're doing that. In the last episode, we got ourselves a couple cool new guys. We got a couple of these guys that we borrowed from Odog, the Kronos Fire Wyvern. Those guys are pretty cool. Got kind of a zombie look to them. And then we've got the Rexes that we've been breeding up, the Kronos Rex. We evolved one of these guys to this guy right here, which is the Dreadnought Rex. And I want to do another Dreadnought evolution today if we have enough of the Guardian Souls. We also got this guy in the last episode, Zodan the Shepherd. Super amazing, honestly, an amazing knockout dino. He can knock out things that are in the millions of Torpor with one shot. Pretty freaking amazing. Uh, of course, we still have our, our main knockout guy, which is our Poison Parados Poison Pteranodon. I always struggle with that many peas in a row. And then I think that's the main stuff that we got. Of course, everything else going on around base. We've got a complete mess going like usual. Just everything everywhere. Uh, let's see. What else do we have up here? There's a couple of things going on. Oh, let's check out how many the how much the mech needs here. So the mech, the really big one here, needs 55,700 shards. What else? 1,900 metal ingot. Too easy. That'll take a few minutes. And then polymer, I need 27,000. 27,000 polymer. Uh, I, I always forget. How do I make polymer? Let me see. Is it on this guy here? So polymer, if we want to make it ourselves, is cementing paste and obsidian. We probably don't have a lot of that either. I think what we'll just go do is eat every carcanose that we can possibly find. Maybe that's what we'll go do. But yeah, today we're going to go ahead and do... Let me see if I have enough to make the next... Oh, oh, oh. That was almost a disaster. I'll, I'll see if we have enough to make another one of the evolutions for the Kronos guys. And we'll do one of those. Let me see. If I can find, here we go. So we need the Kronos token and, oh, no, 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 full one. What did I just make? A Volanosaurus out. I don't have one of those guys. I, I did have one. I don't know what happened to him. Uh, but we have a Saber down there. We could do the Krobo, Kronos Saber or we could do the Wyvern. Let's do the Saber. We haven't really messed with the Sabers in a long time. Kronos Saber and Dreadnought Saber. We'll get both of those going. And then we'll go out and see if we can find another one of those guys today. Hopefully we can get a little bit lucky, and then we'll get into some more fun. Let's go ahead and get that, and get that, wait for the saddle, and then, yeah, we'll go out and do the thing. Should be a good day. I hope that you guys enjoyed the episode. If you do enjoy the episode, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, leave a comment down below, all those kind of things. We appreciate all the support on this series. I can't believe how many episodes we are in. We've still got a few to go. We've got a couple things that we're working on. The Pugnacia mech is a big one. I've got another Parados boss, another Pugnacia boss, all kinds of things we're still working on. Uh, man, should we do the Theory? Should we do the Theory or the Saber? The Saber is a pretty good level. Let's do the Saber. We don't really give a lot of love to Saber sometimes. Let's go ahead and mess with this guy just a little bit. And then if... Uh oh What's going on here? Why are you in my base? Get rid of the Vulture. He's going to end up attacking something, messing everything up. I can't even get him. All right, let, let's keep going. So we haven't messed with a Ground Dino like this in a while. Do I have a Grow Up Potion? So we're going to use the instant grow up elixir to give ourselves a little bit of imprinting and speed bonus. There we go. And then we'll see how many levels we have on him. Six levels available. I'll throw some XP potions on here in just a minute. Let's test out what our damage is. Have I pumped it at all? Let me see. Right now we are at 1259. Oh, sorry. You scared me. <laughs> 1259. So we're doing 28,000 damage to start with. Not too bad. Once we evolve him, it'll be quite a bit better. There we go. Kind of just eat everything in sight. Let's go ahead and go with some mass XP. All right. We'll use like eight of these. And then we'll save the other. We'll use seven. And then we'll save the rest for the evolution after the evolution. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and do a level up counter. All right. We're at 247,000 on this guy before evolution. That's pretty good. That means when he evolves, we might be close to a million damage, maybe. And hopefully he has a special attack like the Rex has. We're not really sure. Definitely go back and check out that last episode. The Rex was pretty amazing. It was a rough episode trying to find Kronos, guys. We haven't had any luck finding good level ones. They're out there. It's just hard to find them on this map, so we're just not having a lot of luck. 
Uh, we're going to save the monkey from the Sarko. Take that. There you go. We'll, we'll do a couple more levels, and then I'll go ahead and do the evolution here. And honestly, we might just go ahead and do the evolution here in a second. We're not going to get too many more levels. The XP really slows down after a little while. All right, let's go ahead and do this. All right, let's go ahead and get a good screenshot of our little buddy here. So this is the Kronos Saber, which is pretty amazing looking, by the way. Look at that guy. There we go. There you go. Does he have a growl C button? No. Okay, let's go ahead and do the token. I'm going to do Control X. There you go. That cool effect. I love the effect right there. Very, very cool. All right, let's go ahead and take the saddle. And let's get a good look at this guy. Not right now, Turkey. We're doing a thing. There we go. Oh, okay. 96,000. Okay. He looks amazing. All right, there we go. New saddle. All right, let's take a look at the new guy. Let's see. Here you go. The Dreadnought Saber. Oh, I wish he had glowing eyes like the other guy, but I think he looks amazing with the white and the black. He's got the cool effect. Does he have the C button? No. Right click. There it is. Right click has the cool effect. Very, very nice. Look at this. There you go. I'll have to make sure I get a good screenshot of that in a second. All right, let's test him out. We need lots of polymer, so let's start eating every single one of these guys that we can find. Do we have... I should have brought one of the mech things on me so I could remember how much we need. Here we go. Come here, dude. Come here, come here. There we go. Eat that guy. So from just one of those, how much did I get? Did I get any? None. Okay, so those guys don't get it. We have to eat the vanilla Carcanos. All right, so we'll have to keep an eye out for vanilla Carcanos. Okay, too easy. All right, if not, we'll have to figure out where the obsidian is on the map and do it that way. It might take a while. We'll have to figure it out. All right, let's go do the same thing. Let's go ahead and go XP potion like crazy. All right, big XP elixir. And I do need to test out. Hold on, let's test it before we do it. Let's test out the right click. Right click does 122,000 before we pump any levels at all. Absolutely awesome. All right, all right, we got the levels pumped into him. Let's go ahead and see how much damage he's doing. This should be pretty amazing, I'm, I'm guessing. Hopefully a million. Are we going to do a million? Let's see. We're all, right around 200 points pumped in. Gives us 870,000. Not bad. That means the right click is going to be really close to that 1 million. Not bad on a saber, man. A saber that's doing this much damage. I'll definitely take that. Let's go up here and see there's some bad things over here today. Here we go. Go fight these guys. Is that a Chronos Griffin? It's not a good level, though. All right. Right click it. Oh, he's not close enough. Okay. Right click him. There we go. 1.1 million. Nice. Yeah, I told you that'd be definitely be the big attack. Yeah, he attacks really fast. Looks like there's a little bit of a recharge on the right click when you hit it. You gotta wait just a second before you can hit it again. But between the two different hits, you could definitely do some pretty quick damage. Basically, two million almost on like in seconds. Yeah, definitely, definitely. If you can, if you could stack them together for something that has enough HP on it. All right, here we go. Here's a Titanosaur. How much you got? One point seven. Perfect. Eat these guys first. There we go. <laughs> The one aloe that lived. Not very long, though. All right, here we go. Titanosaur, can we, how quick can we do it? So go... There you go. Left click, right click. Nice. Take out that Titanosaur in just seconds. Just seconds. Absolutely awesome. Very, very cool. Let me know what you guys think. The Kronos Saver. Absolutely amazing. Definitely a cool dino. Definitely want to use this guy a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I can't wait. Next time we do a playthrough on these, we'll have to use these as our intermediate teams for a little bit longer. I think uh, we'll have to compare the abandoned dinos, the ones that go from abandoned to ruthless, compared to the Kronos and Dreadnought. I think they're pretty amazing. Let's go like that. Hold on, eat this guy. Oh, you know what we need to check out? I was just thinking for the whole the polymer and obsidian thing, do I have a special pick that does that? We might. Let's go back to the base real quick. If we're going to have to get that much stuff for the mech, maybe we have a pick from one of the bosses that could do that for us. Let's find out. Here we go. You are pretty amazing. No, no, no. Stay there. Stay there. All right. So let me see. Probably inside of here. So if we go pick, we have the Phantom Berry pick. That's definitely not it. Uh, Talent of a Dragon. No. It might be in the Parados box. We'll have to go look at that in a second. Can I not get through? Are you guys in the way? Okay. Pick up all the baby lords of bacon that are grown up. Thank you. And I guess inside of this one, 
Do I have any picks? Pick. I have a mushroom pick. Like I said, we might somewhere have it. Let me keep looking around for it. All right, here we go. Here's a better level griffin. Let's go ahead and knock this guy out if we can. There we go. Should be a one shot. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm going to go make some of the kibble unless this will work on him. Sometimes this instant kibble works on these guys. Let's find out. No, no, no. Taming elixir. There we go. Come on. Taming elixir. And nope, don't think it's going to work. We need the special kibble. So let's run back real quick and get the kibble. We're still running around trying to find a way to get more polymer. Polymer is going to be the big problem for making the Pugnacia mech. I think we can still do it. It's just going to take a minute. All right, uh, back to the air. We'll go back here, check this out, see if we can get it to work. And then ho hopefully, hopefully, we'll be good to go. All right, let's go like that. And make some of the kibble real quick. So we need Kronos. That was in the other one. Kronos kibble. Kronos kibble times one. Oh yeah, not very expensive at all. Flaming Parados and Wicked Souls, not too bad. Let's go ahead and drop the souls that we have. There we go. Seven of those. All right, and then let's see if we have enough to make another one of the tokens. So let's go back into here. And then we'll do the Griffin today too because I don't know if we're going to get the Pugnacia mech done today. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get the Pugnacia mech done today because it's so expensive. Let's see where we're at right now. For Depending on which one we make, if we make this one, it's 55,000 Element Shard, which we have plenty of now. Uh, what is the next one? 55,000, 12,000 Crystal, easy. 27,000 Metal, easy. 31,000 oil is easy. Polymer is the one hard one. 46,000 for that one or 17,000 for that one. That one's quite a bit lower. Or 56,000 for that one. That's insane. That's so much polymer. I know there's easier ways to get polymer. I just don't know what they are. All right, let's go back real quick. Let's go down here so we don't accidentally take people with us. And he doesn't take any fall damage, which is nice too. I didn't know, we didn't really test that out earlier, but I tested that out on accident just a second ago. Okay. Last remote. All right, let's go get us a Griffin real quick. We'll love up the Griffin and evolve him too. He might be kind of fun with the dive bomb. All right, let's go like this. And come on. And Kronos Kibble. There we go. All right, give me that stuff back. All right, this guy's going to take a little while to level. Let's go ahead and work on him for a little bit. Pick this guy up. Your amazing Dreadnought Saber. Oh, I didn't mean to pick that up. That was a disaster. Okay. Hey, stay, stay, stay. There we go. Come on. There you go. So what level did he start on? 11.33. Not bad. Test out his damage. We'll get some XP on this guy. Level him up for a little bit. And then I'll keep working on trying to get close to the Pugnacia mech if we can. Uh, let's see. Eat this guy. There we go. All right, yeah. I'll, I'll figure out something for it. We're going to figure out a way. All right, so looking at the three of these before we run out on the Griffin... We need 34,000 more shard for this one and only 10,000 more metal. So that one might be a little bit more doable. You can kind of see each one, like how much damage or health they have. That one has the highest damage, but it's also so expensive polymer-wise. Might wait on that. So I think we're going to do this one. I just need 10,000 metal, easy. And what was the other one? Another 34,000 shards. Let me see how many shards we have. Let's pull all the shards that we have. So we're going to go shard. We have 200,000 shard. Look at that. So ridiculous. All right, so definitely enough shards. What else do we have? So it's just the 10,000 metal. And we really, do we have any just plain metal? Or do I need to go harvesting again? Uh, we've got a little bit. We can get that going. And then let's pull that. So even with that, we're still short. Whatever it said, the 10,000. Okay. Let me go get some metal. We'll go ahead and work on that just a little bit. Let's go ahead and get the stuff that we just made. We've got the potions. I've got the saddles. You don't really need the saddles for the griffin, but we should, went ahead and made them anyway. Should give them a little bit more, a little more durability. Went ahead and did the grow up potion. We'll do the grow up potion like that. Give it that imprinting, and then we'll give it a few of these. There we go. That way he'll have a little bit more speed. I'll be a lot better, so you can fly around on him a little faster. We'll go crazy into damage, and then we'll go ahead and get this guy evolved into the Dreadnoughts. We'll have two Dreadnoughts today. Wasn't really the plan, but we'll definitely go with it. All right, now let's test it. So if we do the dive bomb, what are we doing? Oh, we missed completely. I don't even know. 284,000, okay? That's not bad. I don't remember these guys being this powerful. I wonder if they got a boost or if we just didn't try them out enough. Here we go. Okay, I think we missed it. We're having trouble hitting it. Let's see. 
Let's try it again. Do we just need to just hit the ground and not attack? Here we go. There we go. 300,000 on the dive bomb. And I don't think we were quite full speed yet. So that's definitely not bad. Okay, let's go ahead and do the Evo. Let's do it right now. I just want to just not waste time. I'll go out and get metal as soon as we're done here. Let's go ahead and do this. Like this. Alright, get a good look at him like that. The V4. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay. And then we'll go ahead and do the thing. Okay, token. And control X. And I don't have a saddle on him, so we don't have to worry about that. So we just go like this. Oh, man, awesome. I do like the effect, the little sheen effect. Each one of these mods has like their own effect for how the Evos work. Eternal does the giant bubble. This one does like this little glimmering dome. I think they're both really cool. All right, make sure you're not following, and let's take a look. Oh, he looks amazing. Look at that. The white, the white on black looks really, really clean. I like that. All right, so we've got the left click, of course, the right click, C button, X button. X does the cloud. All right, okay. I'll definitely have to get a good look at that. Let's test how much damage we're doing real quick. Come here, bud. 96,000 starting off. Oh, this guy's going to be a monster. All right, let's go ahead and go with the XP. Just go ahead and put a bunch of them on there, like 10 of them. And then we're going to do the grow up potion, do one of those. And then we'll do the griffin saddle, give him a little bit of extra armor. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and test out how much the, the C button does first. Okay. Oh, he's so slow starting off though. Okay. C button. What do you do? No, X button. There we go. X button does 220,000 starting off. He'll definitely be over a million on that one. And then I assume the dive bomb will be a little bit higher too, right? Let's test out the dive bomb. Okay. Here we go. 176 on the, the dive bomb. Not bad. All right. Let's go ahead and pump 238 levels. Yes. All right. So now we're looking at 3.2 million health. Definitely not bad. Left click. How much do you do? Left click is 1.6 million. All right, X button is 2.1 million. All right, let's see if we can get a dive bomb in. Let's do it on the Pago. Okay. Here we go. 1.6 million on the dive bomb. I don't know if it gets more if you get full speed. I'm not really sure on that. All right, got another level. There we go. We'll keep throwing it into damage. We're at 214 points into damage. So we do have a little bit more to go there. There we go. Okay, so I don't think it scales with how fast you go. I couldn't remember been a long time that's definitely not bad though this is insane all right let me go find a metal spot and we go see if we can get a little bit of metal going so i can finish up this pug uh mech we want to get the mech built up it's going to take a little while i don't know if we're even going to get to get it done in this episode let's see is there a metal spot on the map still metal nice like i said a lot of the spots disappeared when there was an awesome teleporter update a long time ago so it's been a weird playthrough with all the changes and everything such a long playthrough all right is that metal right there? It must be. Uh, oh no, do I not have a, a pick? I really don't have a pick. I have a hatchet. Uh, that's not going to help. Okay, hold on. Let's pick you up. <laughs> Let's, let me go get a pick that will help out here. All right, I've got three different forges. I've got the industrial forge, the other two forges all going with it. We did have a dino that would do this for us. Not sure what happened to him. The conflagrant Anki, I think. Let me see which Ankies we have. I think there was two different Ankies that could do this. Might have been three. Let's just get all four of them out and see if any of these guys do it. Uh, just to help us get through this metal a little bit faster. It's going to take a long time. So we got Clubber. That's our wicked guy. Frankosaurus. All right. Conflagrant. I know for sure he does. And then Parados. Might be him. All right. Let's see. Is it you? Aha, it is. Okay. So let's go like this. Can I steal some of that metal back? Let's go like that. Oh yeah, that one's a little bit faster. Oh, there's no way to do... You can't do crafting on that guy. How about on this guy? Let's test you. Okay, this one might be the one. All right, let's go with metal on this guy. All right. We're going to pull, even though I know it's all on there, we're going to pull it onto here because I think it's going to be faster on here. Crafting skill. There we go. We'll get all of it ready. Oh, it took it off of there. Dang it. Okay. Hold on. I think... I think this took it all. Let me see. Yep, that one's the one. It does auto-pulling, so you got to watch out for this thing. It takes everything from everywhere. Disable pulling. Okay. Now let's try this again. So if we go like this, like this. Metal. 
take all of it. Yeah, I think this is the the fastest one. See, it's going 10 at a time, and I need 10,000. So it is going to take a little while, uh, a long while. Turn off auto smelt. If I pump it a little bit more, would that help? Let's go like this. We put some more levels into crafting skill. I want to see if it would help out a little bit. Some of the other mods, this goes really fast when you start pumping this. He might be already maxed out. What level are you? He's 798. No, he's got levels to go. All right. So now if I pump this, it's going to start going faster. Uh, I think it's a little faster. It's not really noticeable. There we go. 234 levels in. Uh, yeah, that's definitely going to do a lot better. So I need 10,000 of that. That'll have to wait till the next episode. But not too bad. We got these two really cool guys. We've got... There we get up here. We've got... Let's see. Control. Not the Lord of Bacon. The Dreadnought Griffin. We got this guy. All right. And then we've got the Dreadnought Saber. So these are the two that we picked up today. Level 2006 and level 1918. We'll have to get some more levels on this guy still. I think he's got some more to spend. It says... Oh, no, it doesn't say. I thought it said he had more levels ready to go right now. But, yeah, definitely not too bad. Both really, really powerful. A lot of fun to play with. I'll definitely take him out and do a little more leveling. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, hopefully it came out to a full-length full length episode. I got, I'm just kind of out of time for recording for the day. So if it is a short video, I apologize. Definitely try to keep it at that 20-minute range. But we fail with that a lot. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Parados, Pugnacia, Crystal Isles. Thank you for the support. See you in the next video.